for almost 20 years, we have been reading aloud and rallying around a little pumpkin that looks different from his friends. And since this season is looking different, I'm so excited to talk to my next guest, the author and creator of Spookly the Square Pumpkin, Joe Troiano. Welcome, Joe. Hi, Sammy. Thanks for having me. Oh, I'm so excited to talk to you. I, you know, our kids, even though they're teenagers, still love Spookly. Can you just tell us a little bit about how Spookly came to be and, and what he stands for? Sure. Uh, Spookly started out as my son Nicholas's bedtime story one Halloween a long time ago. We were out trick-or-treating, and the group of kids we were with just kept leaving him behind. And mm -hmm no matter how quickly he tried to catch up, they would just go quickly. And of course, he made a very sad Halloween for him. And when he got home, he was upset. And at bedtime, he wanted me to tell him a bedtime story, but a, a happy Halloween bedtime story. And I said, well, what's happy on Halloween? And he said, pumpkins. <laughs> you know, pumpkins aren't scary. They're funny. They're sweet. Tell me a story about pumpkins. So. I made up a story about a little square pumpkin who, like Nick, sometimes didn't fit in and eventually learns that being different can make all the difference in the world and that we're all different. And he manages to save the day. Yeah, I'm so glad that you had that, not the experience that Nick had, but that you were willing to share that experience with all of us through the Spookly the Square Pumpkin books, because I think we've all felt that way. And now, almost 20 years later, Spookly is the national spokes pumpkin for National yeah. Bullying Awareness and Prevention Month. I mean, did you ever imagine that it would come to this? No, no, certainly not. And it's it's a thrill and a surprise. I mean, I, I think we knew we had something special that evening because it just felt so right. And I knew how it affected Nick. It certainly made Nick's bedtime happier. And I think as Nick grew older, he could appreciate that his story, which isn't unique, mm -hmm. has helped other children who at times, you know, feel out of place. And, and he's very proud of it, I think. And, you know, he's a grown up now and a certified first responder and we're very proud of him. Wow, as you should be. You know, there's something that you've said, or Spookly has said, that, uh, you know, really stands with me. And it says, the end of bullying begins with you. Can you break that down for us a little bit? And for people, you know, whether you have kids or don't have kids, there's an important message behind that. Yeah, I think it's important that we realize that, you know, one person can make a difference. Mm -hmm. And one act of kindness even a random act of kindness can change someone's life forever, a stranger's life. And you never know when that moment's going to come. And when you do something or say something that absolutely affects someone, and you may not even know you did it. And I think that's a part of what PACER, which is the group you're talking about, so much emphasizes, you know, when they say, speak up, reach out, be a friend, yeah. because bullying involves more than the bully and the person being bullied, it involves everyone in a crowd or anyone who's watching. And, you know, you can be involved, you can be part of the solution. And if find someone, speak up. And if you can't help, go find an adult who can help. And always try to be a friend to someone who needs a friend. And you'll know those situations. And I think it's important to know that it ends with you. Each individual can help this situation. Absolutely. I mean, there couldn't be a more poignant time for this message when things are looking a little differently. Halloween is looking a little bit differently this year, but I'm excited to share about a really unique event that's happening at one of my family's favorite vacation destinations. Gaylord Opryland Resort is offering Goblins and Giggles now through October 31st. It's a really unique event that's happening and what people can experience when they go there is uh, jack-o'-lantern walks, trick-or-treating experience trails, 
Trails. Uh, there's the Delta Flatboat rides that people know. Even a spook easy for the adults, even spooky animal encounters. And right now, you can get packages starting at $245 that include two of the uh, Hayden, uh, uh, the Scavenger Hunt booklets featuring Spookly the Square Pumpkin. And there's so much more, so I really encourage people to check out GaylordOprelandResort.com. Joe, any final words on how to talk to parents right now about you know Halloween looking differently this year? Well, I think everything is, is different this year. And I think it'll involve a lot of celebrating at home, which, which almost has started a few years ago. I think people started having much more controlled Halloween parties at home and you know, you know, not what we did as kids. I'm from the Bronx. We went down, you know, block after block. But I think you can take advantage of being at home and make it a fun, different spin on the holiday and get everyone involved. And in fact, your audience should know if they go to pacer.org that there are a lot of spooky download activity sheets and ideas and things that can help them get through a, a difficult Halloween that you know, who knows, next year they may want to do it again, even if they don't have to. Absolutely. Joe, thank you for sharing this beautiful and important message, for sharing all the free resources. And of course, if you want to celebrate a unique Halloween experience with goblins and giggles, go to GaylordOpryland.com. Joe, thank you so much for joining us on The Sammy Cohn Show. Listen, thank you so much for, for having me and have a happy, healthy and safe Halloween, everybody. Yes, Thanks, Sammy. You too. You're welcome. We'll be right back.